In part 1 of this series, we went and covered some of the basics, simply enter the dimensions you want, the DPI, colour format and whether or not you want the file to be transparent, customization features, scroll down to customize tools and hold, grab all the tools you want and throw them on the dock wherever you like. I made a liquid style YouTube banner and now you've got yourself a sick looking YouTube banner without even knowing it inside of Affinity Photo. This is part 2 of the series and today we'll be making a clean eSports header. So let's get into it boy! First step is to find the logo of your team or brand. For this I'll just use the Tencent Games logo as an example because we support the Chinese government. A little tip, if possible avoid using PNGs for logos and instead use SVG or vectors. You'll see right later in this tutorial but for now just trust me okay? Just trust me. Once you've gotten your team's logo, you're gonna want to find any brands that sponsor your team. I'm just gonna use Corsair, G Fuel, and Ryanair because why the fuck not? Open each of these files and hit Ctrl G on all the layers just to make it easier to move in the future. Alright Jimmy, now that you've got everything, it's time to create the project in Affinity. I already have a preset for a Twitter header, but if you don't, all you need to do is type in the dimensions and hit this little plus icon. Now just copy each of the groups and paste them into your main project. So, grab the Flood Fill Tool. Select a nice backdrop colour and fill in the layer. Now pick the pen tool and start drawing some curvy lines. This took me a while so I'm just... Once you've got that nice sexy curve, you want to choose an accent colour. Usually this would be your team colour, but I'm just use pink because I want to. Now you've got your colour, you want to duplicate the shape, hold shift and drag it up slightly and change the colour to something else that fits. Now hit the effects panel at the bottom of the layers, hit out a shadow to give it some depth and do the same with the first shape that you've created. Now duplicate and flip both of the shapes and drag them to the other corner. Select all the shapes and make sure they align in the middle. Now this is optional but if you want a bit more extra detail, you can head back to Google, search for a gaming moment and import it into your project. Make sure the image is high res or else it will just look shit. Obviously. At a black and white layer adjustment, group the adjustment layer with the image so it doesn't affect the rest of the layers and resize it to fit your whole project. Open the effects panel back up, add a colour overlay and use the same colour as your main backdrop. Change the blended mode to something that looks good, then just drag the image below the backdrop layer and reduce the opacity. A little birdie told me that only 3.4% of you are subscribed. If you would like to see more content like this, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to let me know. Anyway, back to the video. Grab your team logo and if it already looks good with your current design then there's no need to follow these steps. But if not, make sure your logo uses the same colours as your header with the same accent colour too. Choose the text tool, drag and type out your team's name. If it has more than one word, a cool little trick you can do is select the last word and change the colour to your accent colour to give it a bit more variety. To give it a bit more variety, change the colour to fit your designs, drag them until they fit nicely under your text and then just reduce the opacity. A nice little touch you can add is just grab the paintbrush tool, click then head back to the select tool, drag and resize it to the top of the project, change the blending mode to soft light and you've got a bit of lighting that always spruces things up. Now all you have to do is arrange everything neatly and you're done. Usually, if you're designing something like this, a team would want all their branding to match, so all you'd have to do is create a new project, copy all of your assets and then just place them to fit, as shown in this example for a YouTube banner. That... you know what, fuck it. Well, that's the end of this tutorial. If you found this helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, let me know what you'd like to see in the future in the comments down below, and thanks for watching.